Hey guys, Simpsonip here today. I'm going to be doing like a series of videos on trading tips and stuff and how to trade. Because a lot of times I get asked uh, how I make so much profit and stuff. Yeah. Anyways, first thing that I want to say is always check Reddit. Right. Reddit right is the best places to find prices. Well, at least for higher tier stuff, which is what I usually do. Anyways. If you have a high tier item over market, you should always check right for a price. So let's say, I don't know, you're looking for a bayonet ruby, some guy offered you a bayonet ruby, and you have no idea how much it's worth. Um, search a float, like, so let's say it was a point of three, right? Search bayonet ruby point of three, right? Now you gotta look at the average and see what they're selling for, right? See, here's one for 415 keys. And, but here's one for 365 keys. Wow. Well, this would work better. Also, sometimes I forget to do this, but I always remember later on, anyways. Always make sure this is like under the past week, you know? Anything else is pretty much irrelevant, so once you're trying to see like the price gap and stuff and what they went from, right? Anyways, so let's see. Well, I don't. Oh, here's one. Alright, so this one is 350k, right? 350 keys. Um, this one is 365. So right now it's like 350 because that's the lowest one, right? Right? That's, that's what it is. So if the guy's selling his and valuing his at like 370, you should tell him, hey, there's a bayonet really playing at 3 right now on right for 350 keys. And it can usually knock him down. Also, relevance and new, that's a big thing. Relevance will give you like the most haunted search, so if you're shoot, searching my float, you should probably play on relevance, right? But if you're just doing being at root to see what the prices are in general for like all the floats, just just play on new, that's why I usually like to do. Because it gives you the most updated prices. So here's a being at root playing one for 365, but this guy, he's selling his for 350, aka me. Anyways, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a good right piss. But in order to do that, you must have a flare. How do you get this flare? Well, you got to get, I forget what it's called. You got to get like a CSGO pass or a go trade pass. That's what they call it. Yeah, go trade pass. And to get one of these, it's pretty much just so you can link your Steam profile with your account. So if you ever get banned in this account, you can't make an alt account. Yeah. Anyways, so I just usually, so what I did, what I did was I just made a post and then there's a bot that comes down here that says you need a trade pass. And you also have this on that shows my flare. You have to have that on all the time. Yeah. So first thing you want to do is click new trade. And you put in your have, which I have a bayonet fire nice, and then you put in your want 235 keys. I have a bayonet ruby, I want 350 keys. Pretty simple, right? You know, it's playing, then I like to put in whatever info that I have about my knights, like whatever special about it. Like, let's say I had a uh, bayonet fade, and it's full fade. Um, I'm gonna say it's full fade, or uh, butterfly fade, it's full fade. Or let's say I had a uh, crimson roll fade fire knights, and it was a uh, fourth max. I want to put in, it's fourth max. Yeah, I have my bayonet fire knights, and it's third max. Anyways, yeah, then you want to do MetGem. MetGem pretty much just shows you the info about this. Now, if you're interested in the item, don't trust this, but let's just say you want to see quickly what pattern is. Just search this pattern and, and then the float. Just take it and say, yeah, this is a float. But if you actually are considering getting the item and so you have a trade offer, you're going to get the item, please. Please, please take a match in yourself. By doing this, you right click on here, copy a spec link, you then go to match gem, and you screen it. Once you screen it, the pattern ID is going to come up here, flip's going to come up here. You can also see that stuff if you click on a picture like below, and then you just copy the link and put it in your posts. Now, I like to use match gem over screenshots almost always because. Screenshots, yes, they look nicer, but this has all the info on, you know? 
if you are going to do screenshots, do Met Gem as well. I, I'll sometimes do screenshots and Met Gem, but I always have a Met Gem no matter what. Now, another important part about posting on Reddit is you have to have a buyout. You have to have a buyout for every single skin that you put on there. And if not, you, you'll get your post deleted by mods. So, buyout, in case you don't know, is if somebody sends me this, I'm going to take it no matter what. Also, if you don't accept your buyout, let's say somebody sends me 235 keys for his fan at Fire and Ice, and for whatever reason I don't accept it, um, I get banned. They'll probably just warn me the first time, but that's not the point. Also, um, add your Steam trade offer link. Now, a lot of people don't know how to get this, so here, I'll show you. Just search Steam trade link. Um, it should be the first thing that comes up here. If this works. So, here's my trade link right here. You right-click, copy it, or you control C, whatever like and just piss in here also you want to have your steam link here I always like the steam link so you can just add them directly you don't have to click on your profile when you um, go to a trade this pretty much sums up for what you mean in a right post please like subscribe if you like this stuff I'm gonna be having like a whole a whole montage of trading videos for you guys so you can learn how to trade a few of my friends were asking me how I made so much profit, and I thought I'd just give you guys these tips. Yeah.